in our previous class we have seen three different kind of interrupt so out of three one was discussed and two were remained so first now we will discuss the two which was which is uh, first one is a uh, maskable and non maskable and second is a vector and non vector so let first discuss the first one which is first second one which is maskable and non maskable maskable and non maskable what does it mean maskable so maskable first so those interrupt those interrupt which can be controlled those interrupt which can be delayed or rejected by any software by some software instruction is called the maskable interrupt so those those interrupt which can be delayed or rejected is called are called maskable intr interrupt which called the maskable interrupt so as an example uh, so what does it mean what does it mean that means that this interrupt can be controlled by some software instruction if i wants to enable this kind of interrupt we will apply a software instruction which is available in 8085 microprocessor which is enable interrupt if we want to disable the interrupt there is another software instruction which is disable interrupt disable interrupt and enable interrupt so di and ni by this two software instruction we can manipulate this maskable interrupt and what is a non maskable interrupt that means those interrupt which cannot be delayed or rejected which those interrupt which those interrupt which interrupt which can not be delay or rejected rejected is called maskable interrupt interrupt is called maskable interrupt what does it mean that that means by this two separate instruction this interrupt this maskable interrupt you cannot be manipulate you cannot be manage you cannot be enable or disable this interrupt by this two software instruction as an example as an example there is a one non maskable signal non maskable interrupt is available which is called trap trap that you can see over here trap so this is called the non maskable interrupt so instead of uh, uh, without that without that features of trap there is another feature there is another significance of trap this trap is called higher high higher in priority higher in priority that means higher priority signal what does it mean that suppose there are five hardware pin connected to the interrupt control block if all the five control uh, all the five interrupt pin are ready to send the message or to send the interrupt request to the microprocessor at that case which one will be allowed first to the microprocessor 
which one which one interrupt request will be allowed to the microprocessor first at that case the trap interrupt request will be allowed first second will be the first one will be this one second one will be this one third one will be this one fourth and fifth will be intr so priority according to the priority wise first one is a trap which one will be allowed to send the interrupt request to the microprocessor first and the second will be the rst 7.5 third rst 6.5 fourth rst 5.5 and five fifth or the last is a intr so that the way and that is the order of the priority so if all the interrupt are getting high or getting ready to send the message to the microprocessor in that kind of case so now let's comes to our next or the last kind last uh, kind of interrupt which is a vector and non vector it's vector number 3 vector vector interrupt so those interrupt those interrupt which have those interrupts which have particular address in memory location those interrupts which have per or specified particular or specified which have particular address in memory address location address location in may in memory in main memory in main memory so that interrupt is called the vector interrupt those interrupt which have particular address location in a main memory is called the vector interrupt that means that this interrupt has a particular address in main memory okay we will discuss it uh, in our coming session in, in in a few bit later so let comes to our non vector so it has another features also when vector interrupt it has another features and this features is so important which is all vector up vector interrupt has its own isr all vector interrupt has its has all vector interrupt interrupts has has its own isr interrupt service routine and it is for only the vector interrupt it is which means isr it is already known by the known to the microprocessor it is already known to the microprocessor that means that there is a no need to give that particular address location or any information from the outside so vector inter first point vector inter has a particular address location in memory and all the vector inter has its own isr interrupt service routine and by executing those interrupt service routine the vector interrupt actually executed so this all have isr own isr and this all isr interrupt service routine already known to the microprocessor but what about the non vector interrupt that the opposite thing non vector that's the special thing non vector interrupt so for that case those so it can it cannot it can't have 
any specific any specific address location in main memory it can't have it do not have any specific or it can't have any specific address location in main memory that means if it do not have any specific location in main memory so it will not have it is it is obvious it is apparently it is quite clear that it will not have any particular isr if it will not have any particular isr interrupt service routine then how does it process to the microprocessor how does it execute to the microprocessor so the next point is which is very important relating re, relating to that part isr whether it has any particular isr or not or, or or the isr is known to the microprocessor or not so at that case non vector interrupt the io device for non vector interrupt the io externally input output device io device will have the non vector interrupt the io device will have to supply the supply the address will have to supply the address of the sub subroutine will have to supply the address of the subroutine from the uh, subroutine to the microprocessor to the microprocessor that means if you look at here then you will find that the uh, for the vector interrupt what was happened the vector interrupt has its own isr and the already known to already known to microprocessor this is underlined but for here if there will have any particular subroutine interrupt service routine then obviously it will be executed because the interrupt will be processed by executing its own interrupt service routine that i have read before in our uh, before in our previous slide so here you will notice if you notice if you notice here then you will find that non vector interrupt io device will have to supply the address of subroutine to the microprocessor that means it do not have any particular sub subroutine microprocessor io device externally supply the subroutine to the microprocessor then those subroutine will be executed and then the non vector interrupt will be executed in our coming session we will discuss in detail the process of execution of non vector interrupt in that case we will we will discuss what actually happen for non vector interrupt and with the circuit we will also discuss that portion with all with also the help of circuit so that is the point just remember that thing here yeah? just remember that thing so i have some other question also like so now let's classify this hardware interrupt into two category one is a maskable non maskable another is a vector and non vector so let's first erase it so there are maskable first one is a maskable non maskable so what are the maskable and non maskable non maskable is trap i have told you trap is a non maskable it is also called rst restart 4.5 and non and maskable is restored 7.5 restored 6.5 restored 5.5 and another last one last one is intr 
वेक्टर इंटरप्ट वेक्टर इंटरप्ट दिस फोर इज अ वेक्टर इंटरप्ट ट्रैप आर एस टी फाइव आर एस टी सिक्स दैट मीन्स दैट ऑल आर एस टी आर द ऑल आर एस टी आर द वेक्टर इंटरप लाइक आर एस टी फोर पॉइंट फाइव आर एस टी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव आर एस टी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव आर एस टी फाइव पॉइंट फाइव एक्सेप्ट द इंट्रा एक्सेप्ट द इंट्रा सो दिस इज अ नॉन वेक्टर so this is a non vector so this is a non vector that means it hasn't any particular address location in main memory that means it hasn't any specific iser so to execute this non vector or intr signal we will send a io or in io uh, we will send a message by the io device externally and we will execute and we will send the isr also isr for this particular interrupt for this particular intr interrupt and by executing those isr this intr interrupt will be executed and the process will be complete so we will see it later just i have just given the thing that i have talk, talked about before so that was a, if i divided it in two way so this is a maskable this is non maskable vector and non vector so now draw a chart for the vector interrupt now let's draw a chart for vector interrupt 